Hello everyone, welcome back to the book corner and I'm back with another video. So um, I'm doing another week um, video review and these are for the two books that I've um, already have read. All right, so we're doing a review of Sophie Kelly, A Knight's Tale. This is actually the uh, this is the eleventh book in the series, and uh, <laughs> and it is basically uh, it uh, it once again has uh, Hercules and Owen in it. And there's also another cat in this book as well. And she's part of the, she lives in this, um, kind of like this abandoned manor. It's like where a lot of cats live as like a cat colony. And, and people go there and they feed them and they make sure that everything's good with them. So there is a guy called, um, oh, I'm trying to remember the name. Gwen? Oh, anyway, anyways, this gentleman's found dead, and uh, nobody knows who did it. Marcus is like, of course, doing what he does best, and that is trying to figure out, you know, who killed, um, who killed this person. And as time progresses on, uh, she finds out that there's a lot more to the story than just a guy who ended up dead. And, uh, it, and also, oh yes, I remember now, he died due to a peanut allergy. And apparently what happened was he dropped his um, EpiPen and the killer actually kicked it. So it's, it's, it's kind of like um, the killer knew of the guy's um, allergy and was only going to give him a tiny bit of peanut butter. He was not intending to kill the guy, but the guy still ended up dead. Uh, so it was like this kind of like revenge on all the stuff that he had put this guy through when, when they were younger. We find out that the killer was actually kicked out of this school. He was trying, the same school that he was trying to get um, his son into. And yeah it was it's a, it was one big mess of a story but i enjoyed it a lot and uh i really loved it and finally she tells marcus uh well he actually not tell he sorry she tells marcus and then also she shows him and uh he was a little shaken up by that so yeah so uh five stars really great really great book all right, so the next one is going to be Arl Stein, Fair Street, Double Date. And give me a moment. I'm going to count how many is actually in this, uh, where this is at in the series. So pardon me for one second. Okay, I got it now. So this is book um, 34. Um, at least I think it is. Uh, four. Yeah, it's 34. Okay, so this is Double Date. And uh, so this is the 34th book in the Fear Street series. And this is about a guy called Bobby who's got, already has a girlfriend um, and what he decides to do, uh, being the stupid teenager that he is, that he will probably learn this, his lesson, uh, <laughs> much, we'll add, the, we'll add this to his experience with women. Um, these two twins come into town and he dares his friends that he can get them both to fall for him, which happens, but they don't like sharing. And... Yeah, they make it very clear that, um, yeah, yeah, they don't share. Um, and the classic uh, Arl Stein thing, uh, we have threats, we've got all sorts of things 
that happens. We have nasty words. It's just, it's like, oh my lord. I'm like, oh god. Um, I will say this. Um, this book was interesting, <laughs> to say the least. And it was kind of like, wow, that's really nice. That <laughs> is really nice. Um, but yeah, in the end, Bobby survives the whole thing. He learns a valuable lesson about twins. So I am going to give this book four stars. Um, it was a good story, but it really wasn't my favorite. So yeah. All right. So that is it for the reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed them and I will see you guys next time.